Anglers Extra. Back here on the Anglers Extra pregame show. Time now for the catch of the day. I'm Keith Zubro. Today we have assistant coach Kellen Hoyme. Kellen, how you doing? Pretty good today. How are you? I'm good. Now, do you think this weather is going to hold off? Are we getting this one in? I believe we will. I think the weather is going to hold off, and I think that the is going to have a shot to continue to keep winning. Well, John Schiffner can teach you a lot about managing, but he can also teach you a lot about weather. Absolutely. He's on the radar quite a bit. That's all he does in the, bull, in the bullpen, in the dugout, on his cell phone. But, Kellen, you were also a catcher at Long Beach State. What's the transition been like for you from going from a player to a coach? Uh, it's actually been kind of difficult because as a player, um, yeah, it's a lot more intense. You're in the game. You're in the, the battle with everybody. Um, as a coach, you kind of have some shackles on, and you have to watch the game from the side and uh, more encourage and um, motivate more than anything. So often you hear about that itch, that want to go out there and play, and you guys got to take some BP earlier this season, yeah. and some coaches earlier today. Do you have that itch? Uh, absolutely. I think once a ball player has that itch, uh, it's almost like a disease. And that's why you see a lot of coaches stick around and stay in baseball for life because it's the best game in the world, and you kind of fight for that itch and that competitiveness your whole life. In basketball, they say it's the point guard. In football, the quarterback. But in baseball, the catcher that kind of controls everything on the field. How much do you think that's helped you in transitioning to coach? Uh, I think it's been pretty much everything for me. Uh, being a catcher, I know the role of everybody else on the team and on, out on the field is. And um, just to be able to be a leader and to be able to control a game like that, that's why you see a lot of managers in the major leagues that used to be catchers. It's a young coaching staff, and that really allows you to relate to these guys, and they kind of don't look at you as some older father figure as maybe they would Schiff in, in that situation. How have you been able to use that to your advantage? Uh, well, it just allows guys to be a little more comfortable with you, more of a big brother figure than a father figure, you know. So uh, if there's some issues that they're having on the field, then um, it's a lot easier for them to come and speak with you, and you can relate a lot easier because you're not separated from the game as much. Because for me, I just got done last year, so it allows them to really – ask me questions of when things I used to do or things that they're having issues with and they can relate with me that way. And when you played, you played with Rich Prigatano who was here earlier in the season. So what was it like playing with Rich and then coaching Rich here in Summer Ball? Uh, it was a little different. I actually got to coach him this year at Long Beach as well. So um, when he was a freshman and I was a senior, it was a little different. I had to kind of push him along a little bit, put my arm around him. But uh, here it's a little it's it's nice because I was able to kind of speak with him and he like I was saying he relates to me and we're pretty close with each other so he was able to ask me questions and things like that but it was it was fun. We asked him this so we have to ask you do we have any good Richard Prigatano stories? Uh, I don't think any that I can say on. on it's funny because he had the same exact uh, same exact <laughs> reaction. Well, Callan, you also do a lot of field work out here with Alex Coco, Michael Serena, Nick Durba as well. Yes. How important is it to keeping the field in good condition? Oh, it's, it's a huge part of it because, you know, in Chatham here we have pride in what we do and we want to give these guys the best facilities we can. Um, so we've really been doing a, a, a good job of staying on the field and making sure these guys have a nice field to play on. For all those wondering why we were in a golf cart, that is why, because Kellen spends a lot of time in here. <laughs> Earlier in the season, you guys were mowing the lawn with a golf cart and a push mower. Correct. Whose idea was that? Uh, I would have to take it. Uh I'll take that. Yeah, that was my idea. Because uh, we were walking back and forth, and it took us about four hours. So eventually me and Nick decided we should kind of use the guard to our advantage and uh, use the technology that we have. So so when the outfield is in great condition, credit to these guys. And when it's not, just talk to Alex Coco, Kellen Hoyme. Thanks so much. No problem. I appreciate it. Back to Brandon Lee Paper for more of the Anglers Extra pregame show.